Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel XYZ Architect. Today we are going to talk about coaxiality. And don't forget you can find this presentation for free on my Patreon channel. Link in the description below. So let's get right to it. Just wanted to share this quote by Nelson Mandela with you guys because I relate to it and I'm sure you do too. So Nelson Mandela once said education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. I agree with this and this is why I am doing what I am doing now. Let's get through generalities of coaxiality and we will start with the symbol as you can see the coaxiality symbol is the same as the one for concentricity. You can identify which one is asked by the mechanical designer on the drawing to check by the way it is presented on the feature. If it is coaxiality then it is set on the center axis of the cylinder or cone. If it's the concentricity, then it is specified as an any cross section. At least this is what I think it should be normal on the drawing. Now let's have a look at the definition of coaxiality. So coaxiality is the condition where all round surfaces axis has to be common with the datum. Also, we have here a table that says that this is datum related, the, so coaxiality is datum related. Uh, it's controlling the location and orientation and it's not allowed to have bonus tolerance. And if we look at the coaxiality tolerance, we can see that the coaxiality tolerance is referring to the position of an axis in accordance with another axis and it represents double the maximum admitted value. Okay, so for coaxiality we can have datum as the axis of a round surface, cone cylinder or the common axis from two round surfaces combined, called common datums. We can also see here a graphical example of how the coaxiality works. So this is the evaluated element. This is the datum. We will see this example also in the next slides. Now that we have some basic knowledge on coaxiality, we can go and see some drawing examples. For our first example, we have a cylinder with a diameter of 100 millimeters that has to be coaxial with the axis of datum A. Okay, so with this axis, this axis, this little axis from here has to be coaxial with this big axis from here. A simple example and we can see that this is a coaxiality requirement because the tolerance frame is situated in the continuation of the line from the diameter. For our second example, we have datums A and B as a common axis. Right here we can see that it's a common axis, a common datum. And the axis from cylinder in the middle of the part has to be coaxial to the common datum. So if A and B datums will not be coaxial then we have a problem with the datums so make sure you check your datums uh, as well before you evaluate the requirement from the drawing so check the coaxiality uh, first from datum a to datum b and then you can see if they are okay you can check the coaxiality of uh, the diameter of the cylinder from the drawing. Okay, knowing this now, we can go see a live example on GOM Inspect. Good. So, this example is very simple. 
we just have to go and select this surface from here then escape on the keyboard construct cylinder fitting cylinder let's say this is the cylinder that we want to evaluate so let's say this is position one create and close and uh, again let's select the datum let's say that this one is the datum escape on the keyboard again struct cylinder fitting cylinder say this is datum A uh, looks like it's taken okay so say A for the measuring principle of A let's set it as a reference construction and for the other one let's set it at, as a fitting element okay good now go to inspection check gdnt go to concentricity because at gom inspect it's only concentricity but you can use also this one okay make sure position one is selected choose A okay 0 0.1 I think it's fine and we can see that it's not coaxial right so unfortunately we have a deviation but this is how you go and check coaxiality on GOM inspect so thank you guys for watching Hope I will see you again next time. Until next time, have a nice one.